Dear students, in this video lecture, we are going to learn the formulae on the topic curvature and radius of curvature. So now here we will be listing out the formulas that we will be using to find the radius of curvature. But before that, you should know what is a curvature and how it is represented. So the representation for curvature is given by 1 divided by rho where this rho is the radius of curvature. So curvature is the reciprocal of radius of curvature. So the radius of curvature is represented as rho. So rho. Now the curvature is 1 by rho and the radius of curvature is rho. So the third formula that we will be learning is the Cartesian formula for the radius of curvature is so what is Cartesian formula? So whenever the curve is in the given is given in the form of x and y coordinates only, then the curve is said to be in Cartesian form. And so the formula used when the curve is given in the Cartesian form is given by the radius of curvature rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx square the whole raised to the power of 3 by 2 the whole divided by d squared y by dx square where dy by dx is the first differentiation of the variable y with respect to x and d squared y by dx square is the second differentiation of the variable y with respect to x. So this is the Cartesian formula for the radius of curvature. The next formula that we will be learning is the formula for radius of curvature if the parametric equation of the curve is given. So whenever the parametric equation of the curve is given, the formula that we have to use for radius of curvature is little different. So first of all, we shall understand what is this parametric equation. So whenever you have equation in terms of x with respect to theta and or t and uh, the variable y with respect to theta or t. So any one parameter. If it is theta, it will be theta for both x and y. If it is in parameter t, it will be in uh, parameter t for both x and y or any parameter which is same for x and y. So whenever the equation is given in, in, the, in the parametric form, then there are two ways for finding the radius of curvature. The first way is we should convert this parametric form uh, into like for example we should first differentiate x with respect to the parameter and differentiate y with respect to the parameter. For example if the parameter is t then we have to differentiate x with respect to the parameter t and then we have to differentiate the, uh, the variable y with respect to the parameter t and then what we should do we should find dy by dx which will be given by dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So we will be substituting these two over here in order to find dy by dx. And after finding dy by dx, from that we can find dy, d squared y by dx square. And now after finding these two, using these two, we can apply this in this formula and we can easily find the radius of curvature. There is also another direct formula that is without converting it in it, uh, the problem into this manner. There is a direct formula for finding the radius of curvature whenever the curve is given in the parametric form. So let me tell you that formula. The formula is actually given by rho is equal to that is the radius of curvature is equals x dash square plus y dash square the whole raised to the power of 3 by 2. The whole divided by x dash y double dash minus y dash x double dash. So this is the formula for the radius of curvature whenever the curve is given in the parametric form. But what is this x dash y dash? If the cap, for example, if the if x is given in terms of t and y is also given in terms of t, then x dash will be equal to dx divided by dt. In a similar way, 
x double dash will be equal to d squared x divided by dt square and also y dash will be equal to dy by dt and y double dash will be equal to d squared y by dt square. After finding all these four values, we can substitute them in this formula in order to find the radius of curvature whenever the curve is given in the parametric form. So the next formula that we will be learning is radius of curvature in polar coordinates. So whenever the equation of the curve is given in polar coordinates, what are polar coordinates when the equation is in terms of r comma theta? So whenever you have equation in terms of r comma theta, then it is said to be in polar coordinates. For such equation, the formula for radius of curvature is given by rho equals first we have to take the square of r. So r square plus dr by d theta square. So first r square plus the derivative of r with respect to theta square the whole raised to the power 3 by 2. The whole divided by r square plus 2 multiplied with dr by d theta square minus r multiplied with d square r by d theta square. So this is the formula for the radius of curvature whenever the curve is given in polar coordinates. The next formula is the coordinates of the center of curvature. So the center of curvature is taken as capital X comma capital Y. So these are the coordinates. Now what are the coordinates separately we have to find each of the coordinates and finally we should take and write it in this form. But how to find it separately? The co x coordinate is given by x minus y1 multiplied with y1 plus y1 square the whole divided by y2 and the y coordinate capital Y is given as equal to y plus 1 plus y1 square divided by y2. So just see the difference between these two. Here you have y1 multiplied with 1 plus y1 square. Here just 1 plus y1 square but both divided by y2 and here x minus and here y plus. So these are the coordinates of the center of curvature. Now what is this y1 and y2? They are simply y1 is equal to the first derivative of y with respect to x and y2 is equal to the second derivative of y with respect to x. So this is dy by dx and this is d squared y by dx square. So the next here we have the definition for evolute. The locus of the center of curvature of the curve is called the evolute of the curve. So whenever they ask you to find the evolute of a curve, first what you have to do is you have to find the center of curvature by using this formula that we have stated above. So after finding the center of curvature, we have to combine the two that is x and y in such a manner that the locus of it will form the evolute of the curve. I have done problems under this topic also. So kindly go through it for your better understanding. So hope you have you have learned all the formulas under the topic radius of curvature. Thank you.